Hi class, uh, welcome back to the uh, cost accounting lecture. Um, the last class we, dis uh, we were discussing about basic concepts of cost and we also discussed the uh, objectives of the cost accounting. Now let's understand the uh, uh, merits and demerits of the cost accounting. Um, when we talk about the advantages of the cost accounting system, uh, we can expect the advantages uh, to the management and it also helps, uh, benefits the employees, it also benefits the creators, it also benefits the public. So uh, let's go one by one, let's understand what are the benefits uh, whereas the management is going to uh, get it. Uh, Cost accounting system, when you adopt this system to the management, to the company, uh, for any company that might up, it helps uh, as a guide in reducing the price of the product. And number two, uh, it also helps the management to measure the efficiency of the organization. It helps uh, the management uh, to take the action against unprofitable activity is going to take place in the organization. So normally it is very inevitable for the management to understand uh, which are the activities which is happening in the organization is a profitable one. We have to understand which is profitable, which is not profitable. And later on we have to take a uh, rightful action. If, if you are not taking a rightful action, what happens again, the company is spending more money on unprofitable activity. So that leads to the company suffering losses in their future and they can come, company will uh, uh, face a huge problem in future. To avoid that, we have to identify unprofitable activity. So that is possible because of the cost accounting system. It is not possible with the, any other system like financial accounting system. So let's uh, talk about the uh, next point that is uh, uh, cost accounting system will certainly help the management um, like uh, making a decision making. So once you come to know what is the uh, what are the unprofitable activities in the organization and even once you come to know uh, who is efficiently working, which uh, department is working efficiently, which is, uh, department is not working uh, efficiently uh, and also when you come to know uh, employees who are efficient or inefficient once you can classify these all things, now we have to take a rightful action, that's the time we have to take a rightful action. So for that data is required. So cost accounting system would help to provide the, those information to the management which helps to take a rightful action, a prediction. Uh, coming to the next point is uh, the management, uh, sorry, the cost accounting going to help the management to fix the price of the product. After identifying the uh, uh, cost, okay, so it will be helpful for the management to fix the price of the product and compete in the market uh, and to, uh, and, uh, especially with the competitors in the market and gaining the more customers is very very important uh, factor for the organization so to fix the price of the product the cost of system is going to help them then uh, it is also uh, going to help the management after identifying who is efficient who is inefficient uh, the cost of system would helps the management to fix the inefficient activity or fix the inefficient employees who is working in the organization. So it will going to help the uh, system to or uh, employees to improve their efficiency level. If they are having any problem that can be sorted out, the management will going to focus on improving the efficiency of the employees or the department or the activity in the organization. And after that, Cost accounting system also helps the management to fix the standard. So, cost accounting helps to facilitate the management to fix the standard for each and every activity which is going to take a place. If there is standard, we can't be able to control the cost. So, so, if we want to maximize the profit by minimizing the cost, the company has to go for fixing the standard. So, cost accounting system is going to help the organization to fix the standard for each and every activity. And coming to the uh, inventory control, uh, inventory management. So, cost accounting system is going to help the management to have a proper inventory management. And also, this also cost accounting system also is going to help the management to avoid the or prevent the frauds. 
so preventing fraud is one of the important activity important uh, merits which can which you can expect from the cost account system which is which was not there in a financial accounting or any other any other system so cost account system going to help the uh, management to have a data why you are suffering a lo losses okay uh, the two abnormal losses okay abnormal losses like the theft stolen or misplaced or damage damaging the materials this all leads to um, abnormal losses which can be controlled by management but we don't have data so the data will be provided through the cost of one system which helps the uh, uh, management to have a control on the fraudulent activity as well as abnormal losses so that will going to help the company to have a maximum profit means maximizing the profit and, uh, along with that so cost of one system uh, is always a future prospective and it going to help the management to have a proper budgeting budgeting is one of the important aspect for any company for that matter so they have to budget so if you want to go for budgeting the cost money going to help the management to um, go for proper budgeting at the same time the cost money also going to help to have a accuracy and check on the accuracy what is recorded in the cost of money system whether it's accurate or not so these are the one of the uh, important uh, benefits management going to have it so now let's go to uh, discuss what are the benefits employees going to get when you have a cost account system in the organization so normally uh, when you adopt a cost account system in the in the company uh, automatically employees are going to get benefited with the soundful uh, wages policies and higher bonus plans along with that employees will be differentiated into two categories that is efficient and inefficient once you differentiate the employees into two categories efficient and inefficient normally you employees will get a more benefit so employees who are working efficiently will get a, are going to get a good wages at the same time they are going to get incentives inefficient will going to get a one more opportunity to join the group called efficient group efficient employees group so this, this, then you can improve the performance of the employees by depreciating this. So uh, normally, when you adopt a cost of system, it going to help the employees in a uh, soundful wages, higher bonus plan, and along with that, when company is in a good position, when company is adopting cost of system, for what to reduce the cost and to maximize the profitability, when company does that and, and, and company achieves this objective, automatically the company will run for a longer time. So. If company runs for a longer time, that means employees are going to get job security. So automatically, uh, cost of system going to ensure the employees on the soundful wages policy, higher bonus plan, and efficient in the employees on basis of the efficiency. Along with that, there will be job security because of the cost of money system. And now let's discuss the advantages. Or one uh, will be getting by getting uh, as a creators so to the creator it's also going to be benefited how like bankers creators investors they all like to know whether this company going to make a profit in near future the way it is performing now so that can be understood by going through the reports so one company any company for that matter if they adopt the caution on the system so that will ensure the uh, creators bankers and investors they will go in to get their investment back and they, they will get a good returns in future so these creators investors and uh, bankers can have a better understanding of the firm as regarding the progress and prosperity before uh, for financial lendings if they want to lend the money before that they want to know what is happening in the organization for that the cost of money system going to give the data which, which help them to understand the business in a better way and they want to invest money in the uh, company. And uh, coming to the last segment that is cost of money which helps the uh, public. So it's going to benefit the public in larger way by uh, when you adopt a cost of money system in organization, we try to reduce the cost of the product, we try to reduce the wastage of the uh, product, we try to reduce the inefficiency in the employees. So that means very, uh, indirectly it is benefiting the uh, uh, consumers at large. 
so consumer will go to get the good quality of the goods at the affordable price or cheaper price so that is going to benefit the consumers or public at large along with that when company is in a profit and making a profit that means there's a prosperity in the company and leads to development in the society and automatically providing more job opportunity for the public so by this i will wind up the when it uh, advantages of the cost accounting in next class i will discuss the disadvantages of the cost accounting system thank you